Damon, are you with us? Hi, how are you, sir? Very good. Thank you very much. Uh, I actually didn't have any specific question. I just wanted to wish you uh, and your family uh, happy holidays. Thank you, sir. And, um, remind you that uh, how Iranian people are are uh, grateful that they have a friend like you in Congress and your brother uh, as well to help uh, Iranian opposition uh, <clears throat> regarding this uh, dictatorship in Iran. And I uh, just wanted to remind you that uh, uprisings are going on still in Iran. Students are uprising. It's been like uh, almost a month, almost every day. And uh, we need the uh, United States government and European countries, they need to uh, do something. We, we are absolutely against war against Iran, but uh, we do want um, help from from uh, United States government, uh, which we, I, I think if you remember, we have talked about third option, that uh, we don't want war with Iran and we don't want appeasement to Iranian government. Iranian people can take care of that government and uh, bring uh, freedom and democracy to the region. Thank you, sir. Thank, thank, you. thank you for that call. You know, one of the things that that kind of goes uh, unsaid when we when we look at news reports, uh, when we talk about specifically about Iran, is we obviously know the danger that that terrorist regime poses to the world, to the United States, to Israel. I mean, you know, when you, when when the so-called president literally wants says that you know he wants to destroy Israel and you know basically kill all the Israelis. Um, you have to take that seriously. However, what what the the part that usually goes kind of unsaid is the suffering of the people in Iran. Um, if it's a horrible dictatorship, terrorist dictatorship that's a threat to the world and to the United States, which it is, and to Israel, which it is, it is also just such a savage dictatorship to the people of Iran. So so I uh, appreciate your call, and you better believe it. And look, I. Uh, you, you, I, I happen to be a strong proponent in freedom. Um, uh, freedom is not only morally the right thing to do, it's not only uh, the only way to guarantee human dignity, but it's, but it's also in our national interest. So uh, I, I remember, I constantly remember that Iran is a state sponsor of terrorism. It is a dangerous uh, tyranny, uh, and we need to continue to pressure, and we need to continue to do what we can um, so that uh, not only that the world is safer, that the United States is safer, but also that the Iranian people, um, those who are suffering uh, just under the worst possible conditions, what the gentleman just said is, is so true. What we, what we don't see in the news a lot, because it's such a close society, is the daily occurrence of the most savage murders and tortures that occurs every single day um, in Iran. Um, and we just have to always remember, and I guess this time of year, particularly in the holidays, it's a good time to to uh, to remember those uh, that are really really suffering, and the Iranian people are suffering from that dictatorship, frankly, in ways that we we can't even we can't even imagine. This motion to recommit is frankly very very simple. It just states the following: that countries that have a business relationship with Iran are not eligible to be considered under this debt relief program. Now, the underlying bill in front of us today has a very noble goal, Madam Speaker. It's to work comprehensively to ensure that poor countries that have heavy international debt are, uh, are able to relieve these, debt, these debts through certain responsible actions. But the question is, should we separate these goals, these noble goals, from our broader foreign policy interests? The Iranian regime, um, we all know, has a, has a very active uh, program to acquire weapons of mass destruction, uh, and therefore it makes it one of the most dangerous regimes in the entire world. In addition, Madam Speaker, as we heard just recently, just last week from General Petraeus, we are increasingly concerned by the Iranian terrorist regime's efforts on behalf of terrorist elements in Iraq and elsewhere. The lives of our troops are at stake. And any country that assists Iran economically should not benefit from the bill in front of us today. Our country, obviously, the United States, does not have diplomatic or financial ties to Iran. And I don't think it's unreasonable to expect that countries that choose to participate in our debt relief program should shed whatever economic ties they currently have with that terrorist regime. And if they don't 
have them now. If they don't have those ties now, they clearly should not develop them as long as they want or expect debt relief from us through this program. Let us, again, let's send the right message today, Madam Speaker. Americans are very generous and responsible with, in regard to the treatment of countries that owe us debt, that owe us great debt. But we are also extremely concerned with the very dangerous actors abroad around this world. So that's why, Madam Speaker, I respectfully ask to pass this motion to recommit today and make sure that our friends abroad appreciate how seriously we take this matter. Thank you, Madam Speaker. The question is on the motion to recommit. Those in favor say aye. aye. Those opposed say no. No. The noes have it. Gentleman from Florida. The yeas. Yeas and nays. The yeas and nays are requested. Those favoring a vote by the yeas and nays will rise. A sufficient number having risen, the yeas and nays are ordered. Members will record their vote by electronic device. This is a pursuant to Clause 9 of Rule 20. The chair will reduce to five minutes the minimum time for any electronic vote on the questions of passage. This is a 15-minute vote. On this vote, the yeas are 291 and the nays are 130. With one present, the motion is adopted. For